Over the past 200 years, the world has witnessed some amazing transformation. And talking about transformation, one industry that has revolutionized the modern world is automobile. It all started in the year 1901, when Mercedes received the credit of being the first modern motor car. Before that, the major form of transportation was horse. Later, Mr. Henry Ford innovated the mass production technique for car manufacturing. Since then, the US, Germany and Japan have been the biggest player in the automobile industry. In just 100 years, the car industry has innovated leaps and bounds. But that was not the end. The 19th century car used an internal combustion engine or ICT that required petrol or diesel. But there was an alternate technology which used electricity powered by a battery. Although due to many reasons, electric car never became mainstream in the 19th century until Tesla introduced its car Roadster in 2008. With that, Tesla began a new revolution in automobile industry. This could also be called as one of the biggest revolution in the 21st century. I am talking about the rise of electric vehicle industry. Hello everyone, my name is Sahil and this is my personal finance academy where I explain everything about money management in layman's language. Of late, many of you have requested a video on electric vehicle industry and its future in India. So I did a lot of research and created two videos. This is the first part of the video where I have explored the global electric vehicle industry, current state of electric vehicle market, future growth prospect and key players in the global electric vehicle industry. Then I have analyzed the Indian electric vehicle market, the current state of electric vehicle market in India, major challenges, key initiative to overcome the challenges and the future growth prospect. In the second part of the video, I have analyzed the key players in the Indian electric vehicle market and their growth prospect. So let's get started. After the US, Japan and Germany dominated the petrol diesel car market all over the world, everyone is in a race to capture the electric vehicle market to rule the 21st century automobile industry. If you look at the current state of electric car sales globally, the total sale of electric car in FY19 stood at 2.3 million unit. This number was in few thousands in 2013. So within seven years, the electric vehicle sales have grown multiple times. In spite of such huge growth, only 2.5% of the world's passenger vehicle run on electricity. So you can imagine the kind of growth prospect all over the world. There are mainly three global markets that represent 94% of total EV sales. It is US, Europe and China. If I ask you, which is the biggest global market of electric vehicle, you would probably answer US, right? Well, you would be surprised to know that China is the biggest global market of electric vehicle all over the world with around 1.2 million units of electric vehicle sold in FY19, which is almost half of total EV sales all over the world. It is followed with Europe with 0.6 million EV sales and the US is at third position with 0.3 million electric vehicle sales. In terms of market share, electric vehicle in China account for just 5% of total vehicle in FY19. EV in Europe has 3% of total market share and the US electric vehicle market contributes 2% in the total market share. In other words, we can say that this is just the beginning of EV market. As per the report from McKinsey, the electric vehicle market is going to explode in the next 10 years. Electric vehicle market in China is expected to rise from 7% in 2020 to 37 to 52% by 2030. European market is expected to increase from 7% in 2020 to 33 to 34% by 2030. And the US market is expected to increase from 3% in 2020 to 17 to 36% by 2030. It means in the next 10 years, China market is expected to grow around 5 to 7 times. European market is expected to grow around 5 to 6 times. And the US market is expected to grow 6 to 12 times. That is just crazy growth numbers. Now, let us understand the key growth drivers in global market. The first driver is government policies. Governments have created policies regarding CO2 emission limits and encouraging car manufacturer to produce more fuel efficient vehicles. Second reason is incentivization. Government is incentivizing electric vehicle purchase with subsidies, tax break and various other monetary incentives. 
And the third reason is charging stations. One of the major reasons for growth in the US, Europe and China is the setup of charging station by the government as well as private players. At the end of 2019, there were about 7.3 million chargers worldwide. Out of this, 6.5 million chargers were private. Talking about the key players, the global electric vehicle market is dominated by major players such as Tesla, BYD which is a Chinese company, BMW and Volkswagen which are German companies and Nissan which is a Japanese company. Tesla captures around 28% of total electric vehicle market in the first half of 2020. There is high consumer demand for Tesla cars due to their innovative technology, modern design and high performance. Electric vehicles represent less than 1% of total automobile market in India. Yes, it is a very small market as of now. India is predominantly a two-wheeler market with more than 80% of the internal combustion engine sales coming from two-wheelers. The penetration of electric vehicle in the four-wheeler segment has remained extremely low at 0.1%. The first challenge is high prices. At the end of the day, cost would be a key parameter for electric vehicle adoption in India. In order to address this challenge, the central government's faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and EV or also known as FAME policy is offering monetary incentives to customers which would reduce the purchase price of electric vehicle and bridge the price differential between electric vehicle and internal combustion engine vehicle. Under the FAME 2 policy, the government has announced a total incentive of Rs 10,000 crore between the period FY20 to 22. Apart from this, there are various other incentives like road tax and registration fee exemption etc. As you can see on the screen, in terms of upfront cost, two-wheeler and three-wheeler are already competitive. However, four-wheeler personal and commercial vehicle cost is almost 2 to 2.5 times. If you look at the expected time for total cost of ownership with subsidy, two-wheeler and three-wheeler are already at par with ICE. However, four-wheeler passenger car would take 2025 to be at par with internal combustion engine cost of ownership. Without the subsidy, four-wheeler passenger car would take another 10 years to be at par with internal combustion engine cost of ownership. Second reason is lack of options in EV segment. As of now, there are limited options in the electric vehicle category in India. State governments are incentivizing companies to attract investment in the EV sector. Government has also kept the GST on EV and EV charges to 5%. Third reason is underdeveloped ecosystem of battery production and charging station. For a large scale electric vehicle adoption, it is very critical to build an ecosystem of battery industries and charging infrastructure. For example, currently lithium ion battery cell production hubs are primarily located in China, US, Europe, Japan and South Korea. Indian government wants to promote manufacturing of electric vehicle in India with plans to build Tesla style giga factories and develop a homegrown battery manufacturing ecosystem as well as a network of charging stations. The Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO has transferred its in-house lithium ion technology at a nominal fee of Rs 1 crore to 10 Indian industries for commercial production. This move is expected to lead to the establishment of lithium ion cell manufacturing facility for indigenous electric vehicles. Indian government has recently sanctioned 2,636 public charging stations in 62 cities. Out of these, 1,633 charging stations are expected to be fast charging station and 1,003 slow charging station. With this, 20,000 charging points are expected to be installed across selected cities. Policy makers in India have been actively pushing EV adoption in recent years. Government think tank Niti Aayog has specified that FAME 2 and other policies supporting electric mobility are expected to push EV sales penetration to 30% for private cars, 70% for commercial cars, 40% for buses and 80% for two-wheelers and three-wheeler by 2030. Based on the analysis of key enablers for electric vehicle, KPMG in India expect 25 to 30 percent two-wheeler penetration, 65 to 75 percent three-wheeler adoption by 2030. However, four-wheeler passenger vehicle electrification is expected to lag with 10 to 15 percent penetration in the personal segment and 20 to 30 percent penetration in the commercial segment by 2030. 
about 10 to 12 percent of the overall market for buses is expected to be electrified by 2030. Clearly, there is a bright future growth prospect for electric vehicle in India. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you got a good understanding of the global electric vehicle market and the Indian electric vehicle market with various challenges, opportunities and future growth prospect. What do you think about the future of electric vehicle? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment box. In the second part, we will discuss the key players in the electric vehicle segment in India. And guys, I do a lot of research to create such informative content for you. So do like and share this video and subscribe to this channel as this would motivate me to come up with more such informative content in the future.